folks, welcome to Brush Hippie Outdoors. We're indoors again in the shop. Um, we made some powder up uh, and we compressed them with Fly's little pressing die here last time. Uh, and we got, uh, got us a couple of pucks here. Press these into pucks. And um, today we're gonna break them up and grind them up. Um, one really should use uh, a grinder with ceramic jaws, uh, like a coffee grinder. This is a, what I've got here is a grain grinder. You can't see it. Um, what I've got is a, I think it's Swedish made. Get a picture over here. Uh, this thing's made for grinding up grain, obviously, hence the name grain grinder. Um, you can get a ceramic uh, jaw or replacement plate for this thing. The ceramic, I haven't got one yet, but we're going to use this anyway. Um, I'm going to do it real slow. Don't do as I say. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Don't use something like this. But it'll give you an idea what uh, what it takes to do it. So um, I'm going to break this stuff up with my hammer, with my mallet, and. Uh, We'll grind some up. Let's see. Let me turn around here where I can get a look. All right. Now I just took, I've got a shirt here just to keep this stuff from going all over the place. Because when you, when you break it, it almost shatters. Well, it kind of does shatter, so. Anyway. You know, break them up a little bit, and they don't have to be tiny, and I don't really want tiny. There we go. Now that actually ought to be small enough to uh, to work just fine in this grinder. So, move this right over here. I kind of had it in there anyway, didn't I? Now I'm going to do, since this thing isn't ceramic, I'm going to do uh, small doses here, but you'll get an idea. Um, the odds of this thing actually making a spark are pretty damn slim, I would think. But I'm going to take my time here and go easy, just for safety's sake. And if it does go up, it ain't, ain't gonna be enough of it to do much more than uh, make a lot of smoke in the shop. I got some screen over there. When we get done, we'll we'll screen the uh, the finer stuff out. See, I'm getting pretty good sized pieces there. That's real. That's about right, right there. I plan to load cartridges with this, so I'm gonna put a little bit more in there just for grins. Sure ain't gonna hurt nothing unless it blows up in my face. I've actually done two or three batches in this thing, and I just can't imagine how it's how we could even possibly make a spark in there. But uh, like I say, for safety's sake, we'll kind of stay back away from it. Now, I about decided that uh, when I'm working with this stuff, you notice I, I've got my hair up under a hat, and I, I haven't got one yet, but I'm going to get a clear face shield as well because uh, I, had a, I had a nugget caught fire and over there under the damn grinder, 
not too long ago that I lost track of and uh, burned my freaking eyebrows off so and about half of my hair so from now on it all stays up underneath and I'll stay every, stay back away from the dang instead. But there really just ain't a whole lot to this. You smash it into a puck, you break it up, and then you put it in a grinder and grind it down. When we get done with this little bit, we'll uh, we'll screen it, screen it down some. This works really good. I've got a, this thing's probably 35 years old. Um, I got it from a friend of mine whose dad passed away and we found it in there in his house, still in the box. Um, I don't know if they even still make these things, but they say that uh, you're supposed to be able to get ceramic jaws for them, so we'll see. prefer to have my hands covered. Handling this stuff. Alright, I've got a really small screen here. So, this is gonna... I guess I'm gonna do the... Do this one first. I really don't... Uh, I haven't screened it so far. I just put it in there and shot it like it was. That's going to give me an idea of the size. I believe everything's probably smaller than it needs to be. Actually, that's just right about the right size. See, there's a little bit that's a little bigger, but I can't see that hurting a darn thing. So, when we move on to this one, we'll try, we'll see how it see if the really small stuff screens up. Or how much small stuff I guess we actually have here. Okay, well it's it's pretty fine. This is like this is more like 4F here. So I've just ground it up too small. Um, all I need to do is open this up a little bit. But uh, that's not bad. Just had it set a little bit too small, but there it is. That's uh, that's like 4F, pretty fine. So anyway, that's all there is to it. There, I mean, uh, there's not not a whole lot to this. Um, like I say, the whole uh, ceramic grinder. It's definitely the ticket. And I ground this up a little bit too small. I may just go ahead and puck this back up and, and re-grind it. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, that's all there is to it. Pretty much uh, simple, simple stuff. So we've made the powder. Uh, we've pressed it. Um, we've ground it up. Uh, it's about time to load some black powder cartridges, I think. So... Um, I will probably next time do uh, 
the 1895 civilian model uh, 38 long coat that I got from Ralph. Uh, it's a really cool gun. <clears throat> I haven't shot it. Uh, I can't wait to shoot it. Uh, so you all get to see the very first time out. Uh, and once I do that, then we'll go back and I'll load some uh, black powder cartridges for it with uh, this powder. And we'll see how that turns out. So, so stop by and see us over at GunslingersGulch.com. I'm the Brush Hippie, and we'll see you all next time. Be safe, keep shooting, have fun.